Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my other videos about my Samsung Vibrant Rooted with Eugene's Vibrant ROMs. There's a whole bunch of them out there, as well as my HTC HD2 and other Android devices. Well, today Eugene has just released the Vibrant Hybrid ROM. It does not have the TW launcher, which many people don't like because it adds a lot of um, bloatware to it. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. He has changed up the boot screen, so I'm going to just I'm going to show it here. It's a pretty cool boot screen in my opinion. A lot better than that just boring old T-Mobile thing with the pink words that just flows everywhere. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. As I said before, it does not have the TW launcher. He has he is utilizing uh, Launcher 2, which makes it look like kind of like the Nexus One. The only thing I have done to this ROM is that I have installed Jack's 1.2 gigahertz kernel, which does work. The lag fix is there, but I have not installed it yet. Um, so it's still running very smooth. Let's just wait for it to finish booting up. Okay, alright, so the first thing you will notice is my one Jack's 1.2 kernel right there. I am running at 1.2 gigahertz right now by 400 minimum. Um, you can always change these settings, 1200 is the max, 100 is the minimum. You can always change your profiles right here, which means um, which means you can basically uh, when you're charging you can probably clock your processor really fast since you're charging the phone or if your battery hits a certain percentage it'll automatically underclock itself and when the screen is off you can automatically slow it down as well help save battery life as well as get a bigger kick out of your processor so right here looks great um, I have not noticed any lag so far um, I just flashed it, so it's a fresh new build. That's why it's running pretty smooth. I haven't really installed much except Doodle Jump um, and ROM Manager and Quadrant Score, which we will test out later. Um, there is one quirk of this ROM that I did notice that if you just turn the phone sideways, the app thing disappears. Where's the app thing? Can't. You can't open the app menu. Um, I think that's a weird little bug in this build. Um, you can, I guess you can only enable it when you're in portrait mode, but when you go to landscape mode, disappears. So that's a little bug he needs to work on. Um, let's just go ahead and go through a quadrant score right now. Okay, so for those who, of you who have not seen my previous videos, the Quadrant Standard is a, is a benchmarking tool. It basically benchmarks the whole phone itself, processor, the GPU, graphics processing unit, uh, RAM, and uh, 3D graphics, and a uh, whole bunch of good things. Really, It's a really good determinant of a phone because it compares itself to other phones such as the Nexus One and uh, Motorola Droid X and other higher end Android phones so right now it's just running through a little graphics test benchmark um, let's see I uh, the lag, um, lag fix is still available to install so if you want to do that you can do that before uh, let's see let's get this I'm expecting at least a 900 score not too much so, I think someone has posted on uh, on the Android forums that they got around 850 with the standard uh, 1 gigahertz kernel. Okay, so we have achieved a score of 980, whereas the Motorola Droid X gets about 1,100. And the Nexus One with 2.2 gets about score of 1300 so it's about 
130 score difference uh, between a standard and overclocked but you will definitely notice that it's a little it's a lot smoother you will not notice any lag I recommend this build over any build it does has the Samsung Captivate camera installed into it basically um, the Samsung Captivate, Captivate has a better user interface compared to the Vibrant with a lot more options so that's why it was ported over to the Samsung Vibrant so it can go ahead and take advantage of that and uh, swipe is gone uh, you have the standard uh, Android keyboard no haptic feedback at all it's just standard keyboarding it's still accurate but I would prefer the swipe in there over it but he will have to do that in later builds this is the first build so you can't expect too much out of it let's uh, let's try out doodle jump and see if there's any jumping lag in it this is a pretty basic game so it should run it easily without any lag especially in the higher levels just annoys me when I just fall off the cliff out of nowhere alright so there isn't any lag to it no skipping frames or anything okay alright so that means that games will run very well on it uh, even though that's not a really good benchmarking tool for games uh, but I did notice that in other vibrant uh, ROMs from Eugene that there was skipping involved with the doodle jump thing so I just wanted to test that out um, let's see let's uh... let me see if GPS works uh, maps I don't think GPS works you might have to update it through the market actually waiting for location I don't think it's gonna work but prove me wrong I'm hoping that it proves me wrong but I don't think GPS works just like in the other builds yep your current location is temporarily unavailable so GPS is still a little bugger that needs to get worked out so overall in some, overall I do recommend it over the other vibrant builds because if you don't like the um, TW launcher some people do like the TW launcher for uh, its user interface but I am not one of those people that like that user interface but I just like a clean Android like this one 3D launcher looks really good with it good to show off basically um, it'll run your apps easily there is almost uh, there's no bloatware in this build at all so it's just a fresh clean build um, you'll probably have to update the maps again to get the navigation and the places app and uh, it's uh, I guess that's pretty much it and Wi-Fi does work of course and you can just slide it down and you'll have a clear, transparent sliding screen the, um, let's just uh, go ahead and wrap this up well the only build the only bug I have seen in this build is the launcher if you just turn it sideways gone and if you turn it sideways again you can't even access the launcher usually you'll be able to do that in uh, with other builds I guess okay well let's just go ahead and shut this off this has been Paul Winter and go ahead and have a press the little subscription button and stay tuned for my other videos about the Samsung Vibrant